Uh, Philip Hammond, the Chancellor, yesterday talked about flushing out extremists. Uh, Anna Subri talked about uh, the Brexiteers being hounded out of the party. Um, I assume they're talking about people like you, Jacob. Well, the, the, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, I wouldn't worry about what he says because Treasury forecasts are always wrong. <laughs> And they make them up for their political ends. And he said it would flush out extremists and it flushed out 117 wise and good conservatives who have the best interests of the country and the nation at heart. So once again, it's a phony treasury forecast. (laughs) Um, What do you think uh, will be the most likely outcome of all of this long term? Will it be a general election, a snap general election, the government falling in a vote of no confidence, a, uh, a second referendum or maybe even both? Well, Theresa May said at the 1922 committee that she wasn't going to call a snap general election, which on past four makes you think she might do exactly that. But leaving that um, to one side, I, I, I think a general election is, is unlikely. Uh, it was very interesting, as always, listening to Sammy Wilson, uh, who was saying that the DUP would maintain confidence uh, in the Conservative Party as long as the deal didn't go through. Uh, but if it did, that would change things and the chance of the deal going through are, are remote. So I don't think a general election is likely. Um, I think we probably leave on the 29th of March without any withdrawal agreement, because that's what the law says we do. Nothing else happens. That is what the law says we do. And I think the Prime Minister would find it very, very difficult to get support uh, in the country for extending Article 50 or delaying or tampering with Brexit.